Uh, hello and welcome everyone, this is Blackadder at Blackadder's Place and well it's Friday and that means that it's Total War Arena time. As usual in the past weeks I'm streaming this game in front of the closed beta that I have access to and well... Today I hope that we're going to be having something similar as we did last week. Last week we had a pretty good series of battles. Definitely was quite pleased with the performances overall and how the games actually went. So I'm gonna hope it's going to be the same. Uh, this week we actually had a pretty big patch and that was touching plenty of things in it. So yeah, that's something that actually will be making the games a bit different. Usually, or rather usually, mainly, uh, that is going to be targeting us as we are about tier 2-3. Uh, we should be targeted by the nerves to basically morale uh, def deficits or basically the units dealing damage to the morale that has been lowered a bit which I definitely will be welcoming quite a bit because that's something that I think is a bit more overtuned than it should be so looking forward to that part of the game how it changes and otherwise it shouldn't really be anything all that major for the tier that we are going to be playing in most of the most of the changes have been also for the higher tiers about six plus and yeah that's a bit more Beyond Shut what we are right now ready for, so I kinda guess we should be ready from the last battle from the last week. So I kinda guess, so let's just queue in with Arminius and the horses. The clans are ready to fight. Well, seems to be taking a bit, so I kinda guess. Ready. Ah, well, okay. Just all I needed to do was ask. And, oh, well, we actually couldn't click Shot cancel and we actually selected into units. That's kinda curious. Hmm, but right now it seems that it's it. And that may be it. You're gonna be heading into the battle, apparently. So it's gonna be the first map. Hmm, ah, Capitoline Hill. Yes, I don't enjoy this map, which you probably already know if you are watching me. Or not really the first time. <laughs> I really don't like this map all much, all that much. And I really don't understand how actually they were choosing the maps for the TS. First I think it's stupid to be choosing the maps by TS. It just doesn't help with the gameplay at all. At all. Because more variety is of course always better. Uh, but yeah, I have to say that map like Capitoline Hill is definitely not a new map. Definitely not. It's actually one of the more, more hard ones to maneuver properly. For example, Marathon Terror play they are easy, but Capitoline Hill is definitely quite difficult. And for example, even Germania is a lot easier to play. But yeah, well. For some reason, developers chose this, so we are forced to stick with it. Anyway, we are having double teams, that's kinda okay. Four C's and one infantry for defense for Hansige and Gessin. So where is Hansige? Alright. Hmm. Yeah, he should be switching somewhere else. We will need plenty of defense. Those guys are gonna need defense as well. I'm gonna let... Let everybody choose where I'm gonna go. I don't really exactly mind all that much, so I kinda guess. One can go forward, two can go through here. And you're just gonna stay here with horse set a bit. So let's have a look around. Now let's have a look around. We're gonna find somebody interesting. You should be seeing enemy horses sometime soon. Well, we are at least looking at infantry. So go uphill. You are here, so you might... Oh, well, that's plenty of them. Can we get there? Oh, we should be. Should be getting there. Wow, how the hell did I get routed? Well, that didn't make any sense at all. That didn't really make any sense at all. 
Well, we definitely need to right now retreat. Where is one? You can go through. You're gonna be a bit more useful that way. Now uh, you should be coming probably into a bit. Kind of fastish. You will just check around. And uh, let's see. Fortunately, we need to reestablish our morale first. I know there are some archers in there. So what kind of like? Catch them. Ah, yeah, right now. Nice, nice, nice. Where are you? We got at least few of them. So that wasn't that bad. Uh, yeah, there, there are in enough numbers in there. You're not gonna be able to get there, so you might just as well stick to this and right now retreat. Yeah, just stick to, stick to this position and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. So this is a bit of defensive matchup, it seems like, from everybody. So let's go here and help a bit. Yeah, unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's very nice defense. Plenty of archers without any protection. That's exactly how you shouldn't play. The so these guys are just out. absolutely screwed. But that's also the result of the fact that these guys are going triple skirmishes, triple archers. And that's always gonna result into this. Because especially on lower tiers, you cannot expect that anybody's gonna help you. You just cannot, because it's not gonna happen. We right now going back. Yeah, I'm gonna help you here. So that you are not harassed anymore. Well, he's coming after me. It's all right. On the left. Wow. Okay. 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 I can see what's gonna happen here. Forward, onward. I can see what's gonna happen here. I'm gonna catch those stupid archers that are coming behind. Stay at the back a bit. Yeah, we got them at least a bit. We need to hide somewhere, I guess. Because this is not gonna be a nice battle. Because of all those archers. They're very well hidden in there. I'm not gonna be able to get at them. I want to get though at those. Which I should be able to. Come forward. You might be actually useful in this engagement also through the forest. He's gonna try to cut me off. And is he gonna be fast enough? No. Forward! Well. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was nice. At least he's gonna charge from the back, so that's useful in here. But still, you could have seen how actually screwed up it all was because of... Uh, because of actually those guys, half of my unit being stuck on these and that meant that the rest didn't really charge or anything. That was that was really horrible. Oh, I just ran away. I'm not really useful here anymore, of course. Oh, we can actually kill those potentially. Hmm. Nice command luck. Very nice command luck indeed. I've actually seen plenty of complaints about this after the patch, so it seems that it's definitely true. So far though, we are at least winning on the battle, so it's not really that bad. I need to help my teammate here. Hmm. It's gonna be kind of tricky path, but we should be able to get there. Reasonably okayishly. Death has come for the enemy commander! March. But they're gonna die, we are doing well with archers shoveling enemy archers, it's alright. We're fighting fine here and we're gonna just get rid of these archers as well as we can. 
and then potentially still gonna get a, get a bit of a charge into the main man to be working. So we're fine here. We might just zoom a little bit forward. We have dealt with the archers, and where are they here? Going for a bit of security because I think there was a bit of red hidden in there. As we are in the enemy base. We might just zoom forward because there's nothing interesting anywhere. There is some red, but it's just that, just that. It's okay. Yeah, let's look at these archers so we can actually find them. Keep moving. We can probably move forward as well. There are plenty of enemy archers, unfortunately. So it's still gonna be a bit tricky. Yeah, we're gonna get you guys. Forward. Yes, so Rainman's gonna get it. Hmm. I probably should read back. I was thinking that I could be actually coming forward to help a bit, but it's not really gonna be useful. So I'm just gonna hang back and deal with those archers, kill the rest of them, and then our infantry is gonna help with the infantry that is here. There are double infantry at this spot. Yeah, those guys. Oh, come on, run away. <laughs> bit too late, boys, bit too late. Fortunately, they are losing morale, so they're gonna rout fairly soonish. Not gonna do a whole lot more damage with them. And he's nicely clumped for the archer, but hopefully Forset is not gonna be forcing me into anything great. So sad route without any good reason. 600, 300. We are doing very well in the attack, so it seems that we could be really living in this battle. Ursgar, Ursgar is gonna get hammered in here through the charge or hammered. So the grab is still bad. You can see that it's not really bad at all. But we need to right now retreat from this position because this is not a good fight. Need to run as fast as possible. Our men return to fight again. The enemy base will soon be ours. Yep, rounds should be helping us. I'm gonna try to lead them there, the of course. The enemy base will soon be ours. Run. Because apparently they Our don't really wouldn't want to move all that we much, so I'm just gonna lure them where they should be coming. And the fire of all those charge them. of all those archers, and I charge because I didn't want to be caught in there, the as it was looking like he was choosing charge. He was almost at my back, so it was Stop! almost, I was almost getting a rear flank, that would be pretty bad for me. So this game seems to be going quite alright, we're probably gonna win, there are not really all that many chances for the opponents to actually win here. We should be quite fine. Our men are under attack! Yeah, they definitely need to defend. They just basically thought they were gonna camp there for the rest of the day, rest of the game for some reason. But of course, right now you can see that those two guys are still inside our base, gathering points and whatnot. So let's just uh, just get there somehow. To retreat, as there are plenty of us already. gonna get rid of them as of course force test force stash yeah sorry <laughs> force stash can I get rid of this and yeah that Two was brilliant friendly fire thank you very much I interrupt that was glorious <laughs> it wasn't necessary at all <laughs> of course it's a help when you are forcing or rather facing a strong infantry unit still alive but that was just literally like three four guys and just sent the south into me <laughs> 
yeah, well, not gonna think for that all that much, really. Uh, but still, it's gonna be up to them to get rid of a simple goat, and we should be heading into the victory quite easily. Yeah, I'm probably going to stop them, as apparently he doesn't want to defend himself all that much. Dr. Quetz. Just gonna wait here a bit. What's gonna happen? Yeah, that wasn't really a great team performance. So, we are having some 7 units left somewhere. It's gonna be into a, in the enemy base, so let's just have a look there. Forward, onward. The yeah, that was that. They were apparently routed at the very end. So, you're gonna be a headache. 13, that was the guy with the horses. <laughs> with the chimp arm of Arminius on the left. It's kind of funny glitch. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, press any key to continue and give me normal stats. We did survive till the end, so that was a good battle, of course. Should be getting decent experience. Ah, well, we are in tier 3, so we just basically wasted plenty of experience, unfortunately. That's sucky. Yeah, I definitely hate this, but this is, as I said, I think it's said it mid last time around. This is basically one of the pay to, pay to win and pay to play measures from Wargaming, so thank you very much for ruining the game <laughs> overall and making it more annoying to play. But yeah, well, it's kind of annoying at the lower levels, I guess, because at the higher levels you just need plenty of experience, so much experience, also thanks to our new Wargaming overlords. Plenty of experience all around, the kills, yeah, it was kind of... As the game went, didn't really catch all that many archers. We did catch a few of them, but nothing that major. So GG in there. We're gonna prepare for the next battle, and we are finally having enough, so that's gonna be for raiders. As the tier 3 unit, and then we potentially could be also going for huntsmen. We're gonna be needing still plenty of experience in there, and huntsmen are only from here, or... Potentially also from these guys. No. This guy is gonna get better attack, right? Yes. And then they're gonna need a ton of experience, actually. <laughs> so, horses... Well, I still need to actually gather for those. For, uh, for the huntsmen. So, I'm gonna be probably sticking with the horses and with these as well. Yeah, that's probably gonna be it. 300... It's gonna be a bit slower, so I'm gonna be coming with more Wootsmen. Just one horsey and double Wootsmen in there. So yeah, let's continue with this, I guess. And you're gonna get a Spar, or better melee attack. Let's see if actually right now Restock is gonna, is gonna work after the patch. Definitely curious about that, but otherwise everybody just getting sparred. And we're gonna be switching into a different commander, as we have one with this one, with Arminius. And we have plenty of experience, so potentially we could be getting you some upgrades. Yes, we can. It's gonna be quite expensive, but I do it with everybody. Just two levels in every... Every ability with a commander. So, squad, we're gonna be switching commander and no let's switch into Kinane. She should be nicely upgraded, yes she is. Spears. Having double hoplets in here and one arches because we need plenty of experience with hoplets. We're gonna be needing them for both Taban hoplets and potentially even the Taban cavalry. Arches. Otherwise, of course, Toxotai or other Ionian arches are already from tr 3. Spears! So oh, this seems alright. So I guess let's play. Uh, 
Alright, so in the meantime, is there something interesting in the chat? Well, usually a lot of rolls, as usual. <laughs> that happens, they are a three party. Yeah, well, that's basically me. <laughs> yeah, well. Stop talking so rude. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can try asking that, but it's not unfortunately gonna work in basically any online community, unfortunately. Everybody's just gonna be swearing and blaming and whatnot for some reason. People think they can do whatever they want on the internet. And here we go. Session set up ready. So what's gonna be map number two? Ah, oh, yet again Capitoline Hill. I was so happy last week that we actually weren't getting all that many of it. I think we got just one out of like six games or how many I actually played. So yeah, it seems like that today I'm gonna be getting all the rest of them. So GLHF. Full horses times two. Third horses as well. Hmm. Nobody in need of any kind of big protection. It seems. It's looking like that one Trianos is in and Tomcio Yabol as well. Hmm, I'm just gonna let it be on random where I place. Not really have any kind of extra thought where I'd want to be, so let's just play what the gods are gonna give us. Full horses left. Horses should be on the right. Full horses, one of them. Because, of course, you need to be running through the forest. One, or well, at least one should be coming through the forest. Then one should be coming through the road. Because sometimes the opponents are not really careful. We must take their base from them, or and their horses, their or rather the their archers, wind. are coming alone. And you can potentially catch them. So that's one of the reasons. A second reason, is, of course, that you, of course, need to no if the opponents are coming that way so let's move forward I'm not gonna use right now momentum or other rapid advance momentum is of course for Arminius as I want to check what's gonna happen and of course that's gonna be this yeah so hang back, hang back a bit archers or seas all right it's gonna be a bit tricky A bit tricky game coming up, apparently. Mm. Well, let's see. We have first blood. A pace. Archers. Spears. Spears. Orders understood. Mm -hmm. He's hiding in there. All right, he should be getting something. They're a bit faster. I'm gonna try to get into this sooner. Quickly. Nicely done. By the horses. There are still some enemy horses there as well, so I shouldn't really engage all that much. Should be a bit more careful in there. This seems to be going alright for us. So move forward. The one is gonna move forward as well. That we shouldn't be right now afraid. Of any potential enemy horses that might be coming our way. Should be everything alright. Yeah, just flank those a bit. So that we potentially can. And we are doing really well in this battle in here. 
1300, so not only here are we doing well. Okay, so we have dealt with this apparently, they're just gonna be running around in there and she's, so we're gonna catch them with the archers or potentially the horses. Yeah, we have our own archers in there, so that's alright. Probably don't even need the phalanx anymore, just gonna slaughter them one by one. So we might move forward here, you're just gonna kill them fairly easily. -ish. Be really any kind of big problem. I just cannot really s okay. go there all that much through the unit. Yeah, wh why why isn't this actually rout routing? That's what's annoy annoying me so much on this game and the morale system. It just doesn't make any sense. Yep, they are gone, which means that we can go as well. 1400, 1100. Somewhere we have lost plenty of units. So is it in the mid? Well, mid seems to be. Alright-ish. I'm kinda tempted. Kinda tempted to send one unit to the mid, but Ryanus is going there as well, but yeah, let's just... Let, let's just make sure, because they're gonna probably need... Yeah, probably gonna need a bit of assistance. Yeah, three and... Oh, rather. No, 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 you go forward. Go forward back to the base. As we go for the enemy base this way. Let's check. No! God damn it, I'm still having the <laughs> drug unit clicked, god damn it. Number one and three. Mm, nothing major. We can advance into the base. He's getting killed, so let's just maneuver a bit better into them on this position. But somebody should be really coming back quite fast. Hmm, you're not gonna get arches in there, so yep, they outplayed us, unfortunately. Yeah, so I, I thought that was plenty of arches, or rather, plenty of people in the middle, but they were just absolutely paying no attention whatsoever. Absolutely no attention whatsoever to what was happening inside our base. Yeah, well, sometimes happens, and unfortunately, it happened this time. Well, this skin, I kind of know what it's supposed to do, but it's, to be honest, it's super lame. <laughs> it's super lame. <laughs> it just doesn't do anything significant. For example, what Overwatch has is a much better system, much better system. This is just attempt at, a, at that, but a very not good one. <laughs> anyway. Has that quite nice skills by the horses of the enemy. We apparently caught plenty of our archers somewhere. Spears. So let's just replenish into Olympic trials for better def defense. Apparently we can get the bank of all for enough Spears. experience already. And for archers. the archerinos, ah, better bow. That's nice. No buy, of course. See that we are getting better missile damage for them. We didn't even use, of course, the special ability, so uh, the better consumables. So wasn't really anything all that major, but we still need plenty of experience in here for the Teban Hoplitz, which is something that I want a bit faster than the Teban Cavalry, but yeah. Let's go. War awaits. Yes, this is a very good point by Albatros. 
When something significant happens on the flank or whatnot, you should be always still in your team. For example, when you discover plenty of enemies that you definitely cannot handle, then you should be, you should be signaling that there is something going on. But yeah, well. And here we go. Session setup yet not yet again ready. Salernum, well that's a map I haven't played in quite some time. I haven't, well, really long time. Really, really long time that I haven't actually played this map. Can't remember the last time that I did. Not that I enjoy it all that much. It's basically kind of similar to Capitoline Hill. I also don't enjoy it. Don't enjoy, enjoy those maps. I enjoy a bit more the maps in the nature and whatnot. For some reason, not sure. Maybe it's because of simply looking better. Not sure, really. But anyway, not really a many archers. <laughs> Actually, we haven't just three archers, really. Not even skirmishers. Rather javelins. Hmm. One guy with lithobolos or catapult or whatever it was, or rather it is. And I definitely should be taking care of my archers then. Yeah, well, let's see. for some Tayson to make it into the game and we're gonna be ready. Mm, and here we go. Yet again probably gonna let myself be deployed whenever or rather wherever the players don't want to be. Don't really mind either way. Usually I choose especially when there are some triple arches or whatnot when they need some defense and basically you cannot really rely on other teammates to actually do it. Then I'm just gonna step up and do the defense myself. But otherwise, yeah, it's just not any kind of preferred positions and whatnot. We so we are in the mid. Let's move forward. The Hide in here with one defense, and number one is gonna be moving somewhere forward. Well. Madras not moving yet. They just hide somewhere in here. The tower is of course always useful, but unfortunately it doesn't seem like that anybody would be interested in me all that much. This is a pretty high and tall grass which should be reasonably hidden. Arches are definitely gonna be hidden in here. So let's come with that mouse and hopefully nobody's coming for, for the tower. This is something that everybody should be coming for. No matter what, at all times, when you are having horses, all every time the horses should be coming for them. Okay, so... Hmm, I could be getting a shot in there potentially. Before the horses arrive. I'm gonna shoot at them though. Nicely clumped. Now I need to stop. Yeah, because you're not fast enough. Oh, well, there are plenty of them. Oh, he's gonna get me. Or not, because I'm already there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forward, shoot. Stop firing. Our arrows find mm, this is gonna be a bit tricky. This is gonna be plenty tricky. Uh, how am I actually getting flanked when I was having my friendly units in there? God damn it, figure this out. Creative assembly and wargaming. This was such a bullshit. Thanks then. 
I still need to be wary about the horses, otherwise I will be already coming there. Unfortunately, cannot really hold that majorly. You know, coming forward, trying to get at them, but yeah, well. I'm just gonna be shooting at my own units because right now, who cares? Because I'm already dead anyway. Killing plenty more enemies than uh, actually my own unit. Yeah, you can try this, boy. I'm ready for you. Get here, and we're gonna get killed. <laughs> yeah, because uh, our allies somehow absolutely disappeared. It was probably because you were severely outnumbered. So yeah, that was nice adventure in the middle. When some horses just went into the enemy base. Well, it. If the enemies are stupid, it's gonna it's gonna work, but usually it doesn't, because the enemies really need to be noobs and stupid for that to work. It's just not gonna work for you if the enemies are not. Well, let's see how it's gonna play. And those ridiculous stupidities on the right. Come on, just remove it. It's just not doing anything. It's just annoying, noobish, and degrading the game. <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> don't don't really see don't really see even the ideas behind it. It just yeah, well. That's war gaming, I guess, for you. Such a good game this was, and it was in the original version. But still, there is some fun to be had. If you can somehow live by these little nonsenses. I think there was already somebody coming back, so I can expect him. Yeah, especially right now, we are looking at the horses somewhere at the top. Hmm. It's almost looking like the actually Gwydion should be alright. <laughs> yes, especially Smeladon is not playing this correctly. He should be just going for the arches, of course. Right now, he's gonna die there. As we have already enemy in the base. Finally, right now, right now we're gonna be having defense. But, of course, there's gonna be plenty of enemy. So it's not gonna be easy at all to defend that part of the map. As we are already significantly losing. Losing absolutely everywhere and everything. It seems like the city is gonna be lost. Yep, it's gonna be all about if he can stop the stop the attack on our base. Release or rather reset the timer and potentially steal the enemy base through the horses. Because if not, then yeah, there's no way that you, that we can win. Right now, at least limiting this, as the catapult is gonna die fairly easily through Robernius. And how about... We could be just sending it into the enemy base. Because right now, that's the only way that we can win. That's not really any kind of sensible way. Into the victory here other than that. So let's see how it's gonna work out. Right now we are doing a decent job if it wasn't for this flank. And uh, nicely played by the enemies. And oh yeah, that's gonna be... I'm actually not sure it's gonna be rear flank because the unit might not be strong enough. You need to have certain amount of units to be actually flanking. Or rather decreasing the morale and whatnot. You can see that he doesn't have enough. So yeah, that's that. Still getting into the enemy base with a bit more. And the base, well, the units that were coming there were actually slaughtered. So right now it's gonna be up to Sam Tayson. Legato Sam Tayson, if he can actually get there fast enough. Or if it's gonna catch up. Oh, it seems like that it's gonna catch up. It doesn't seem like that we are gonna be fast enough in there. Yep, so that's a GG for the enemies. And we're gonna have to fight another day. I was looking in the city in the meantime. Hmm. Not that tragically, but expected result, of course, because you're outnumbered there pretty horribly. 
See? And this, kids, is why you are not doing this if you want to play the game seriously. <laughs> you just don't do this. It's not useful. Very rarely works. Your opponents just need to misplay significantly for you to be able to make use of that. And you have experience at least for the whole place, it's not bad. And apparently, automatic replenish still not working. Eager. So I just replenish here as well. Oh, well, didn't have to click it obviously. But what was pretty annoying was the fact that actually last time around the broadhead arrows I had just two charges for this battle, and it was because I used them in the past one. And unfortunately, it doesn't really tell you that it's basically just. Two hits, or rather two two charges instead of four. Yeah, this is this is a problem and should Spears. be handled. So I'm probably gonna Spears. later get into reporting it because that's something that definitely needs to happen. Especially since the replenishment automatic replenishing doesn't work. When it should be working, it should be replenishing even the halves. Not yeah, well that's not the case here so far, of course. Because it's we not must working the simply. Yeah, I've heard that as well. That vengeance is pretty OP. Okay, so what else are they actually talking about here? Yep, Alt that's to switch actually how your command or rather how your unit is spaced, therefore switch information. That's something that is useful, especially when defending of course, when you need to either spread the line or you need to make them a bit more compact. That's really useful. So I guess GLHF, oh, this, no. This way, that's correct. Anyway, triple archers, triple archers, so many triple archers on the air 4, are you kidding me? What do they exactly expect? They just expect to be killed, same as Ragnar. Well, this is... I, I don't have a very good feeling about this game. <laughs> well, I will definitely have to help defend, because... These guys are just apparently gonna get killed easily. Hmm. Not too happy, not too happy about how this is spawned. Well, anyway, I'm gonna spawn next to Ragnar and hope that he's at least capable and provide some defense to him. Then another unit is probably gonna go with some other archers, either Gangleri or Serge Wolf. But yeah, I'm horrib having a horrible feeling about this game already. <laughs> Taking quite some time to actually load the guy. Quite some time indeed. But since you are out of the timer, he's probably gonna be dropped or rather signaled as disconnected. So can I guess what's gonna happen? So here we go, and let's watch. But actually Ragnar set up himself, alright, so I'm just gonna go from the back and defend him. 
Horses there. Well, I would be preferring horses a bit more in this position. Because they need to go for the tower. Since he's on the left, I'm slightly worried he might be coming all around and screwing the tower. Yet again, always go for the tower. Just need to, because it's important to know the lay of the land. And especially in here on Thermopylae, it's giving you like line of sight about a third of the map. The and you just learned so much, so much about the game. Anyway, you can see that plenty of hatches in there. We're just gonna go with them with number two. Kinane is gonna be sticking with a lot of the Brock. Three might come in, might just as well come forward also. Number one is gonna be coming here, and I'm gonna be switching you into a bit more bigger line. Yeah, through alt. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, so you're not gonna get much experience, it's, I suppose, <laughs> unless we actually get hammered by some horses. Yeah, already archers coming forward, horses coming on them, and this is why you don't go with this. Okay, so we get there, triple horses fighting against infantry instead of getting into into skirmishes. Unfortunate, of course. Well, let's be a bit more hasty. Need to be there quite soon. Mm -hmm. There is some archers in there. Spears. Archers. So what are we gonna catch? Pretty solid friendly fire in there. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so he disconnected. <laughs> Couldn't apparently bear what's gonna happen to him. <laughs> so that was that. Otherwise, our CC are not doing very well. We are alright here. Okay, we can probably kill them easily because I kind of expecting that nobody really figured out from the enemy team that they are not really present in the battle anymore. So I'm just gonna get rid of them through some easy shots. So that nobody from the enemy team can actually pick them up and be annoying to us. So have, have they now... Oh, okay, it was because it was the heated shot. Yeah, so, so they are all... No, not. No, they're not. They are still there. Okay, right now we already need to stop shooting. As Guerreros is gonna get rid of that. Move, move, listen, listen. Sorry, Stop sorry, Guerreros. Yeah. So far, not any kind of enemy horses that we don't need to be worried about, but still, we need to be staying there. Apparently, we are giving up on the hill. Interesting. Really? Are we? Or not? Hmm, not sure. Oh, these guys are just waiting there to be killed. Oh, that's gonna <laughs> it's gonna be a good shot in there. Oh yeah. I'm not even gonna get one in there. So, plain line of sight. Oh, very good one. As we are still moving forward, otherwise nobody's still interested in our defense. So yeah, they're not gonna get any experience, but it's definitely a must. If the enemy had some horses that would have been pretty terrible. Run. 
nobody really here. Oh, <laughs> another guy disconnected for them. So <laughs> their team seems to be basically right now disbanding overall. We are already winning on points, so we are doing quite good and quite well. Hmm. Kind of curious what's gonna happen somewhere here. Just want a bit of line of sight, which we should be getting. We actually get on the cliff. Apparently so far nothing all that interesting in front of us. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna go through here. Through the back. I know there are still some archers in there. So if, let's see if we can actually find them somewhere in there. I'm very much interested in finding them. Somebody from the back. Somebody coming on me as well in there, so let's just be careful about that. Yeah, no. I'm gonna have to engage him somehow. I'm just there too, that's a problem, of course. So what's gonna happen now? Hopefully he's gonna get a shot from... The yeah, that was a nice one, that helped. Together, men! Are they blind? Mm, that was a good shot. Okay, let's see. That seems to be going all right for us. Aha! Oh, so many of them in there. Okay, we can go for them, I guess. Disengage this and... Let's go here. Let's see what we can find the enemy base. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Hmm, let's go back. This one's gonna be useful. And right now run, boys. Yep. I, I at least needed to somehow bind their attention in there, so that was all right. We have survived this attack on our base. So. Let's have a look, because they don't have RC, so we should be fine. He's absolutely ignoring me in that. It's kind of funny. I will probably get a pretty good shot. If actually they shoot him. Right now finally they shot, but that was pretty horrible. Yeah, it wasn't really good at all. Unfortunately. So, the one in our base should be alright and gone, it seems like. Yeah, there's nobody else left. So, let's have a look. How's it in here? Okay, let's deal with those. I just are dead, but we are still having 980. Mm, it's gonna be quite close. It's gonna be quite close, and I probably should be already coming forward. Seems you might be actually coming into full on defense in here. I, I kinda think it's not a bad idea. Could be working. Up. Oh, routed already. Uh, just are routed, so you guys I guess come back or not. No, no no no. I'm just gonna hang in hang back with gun glory. If you can actually avoid <laughs> fire from all those catapults and whatnot. Well against Testudo, you're of course not gonna do anything significant. So let's just go with them. 
and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Do we have some extra units here hidden? Apparently not so much. She's moving forward. Well, I'm gonna have a strong feeling that I'm not needed here anymore. So I guess you might just as well move back. Hmm, oh yeah, that's interesting. That's a guy I could engage. <laughs> right now spotted me and it's already running away. It's gonna be a bit of fun in here, it seems like. Can we get some better formation? Yeah, more compact formation, that's exactly what I want. Should be getting rid of those fairly easily, giving some extra time to Gangrel to do whatever he wants. As you're gonna move into the forest, I guess. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh well, it's gonna be tough on us. Yeah, right now I cannot really disengage, because if I disengage, I'm dead anyway, so what would be the point? Yeah, there would be absolutely no point. Together, men. Yeah, well, they're gonna be dead. So we just wait here for the opponents. As he's moving forward, I'm gonna be moving with him, of course. He will need a bit of defense. Hmm, or not. I'm gonna be getting the line of sight for us. there are plenty of threat in there, they are right now coming back, and if we get line of sight on them, it could of course be helping our guy in here, Ragnar of Brock, in getting some good shots, potentially. So let's see how that's gonna work out, of course this guy is absolutely dead, still giving some opportunity. Opportunity potentially for shots, but we are right now losing and you are winning. This is because of those kinda useless attacks. And movements and whatnot. Okay, so nobody really here yet, but the archers are at the top. Definitely will have to be looked at by one of the catapult guys. So, get it all got in. Some good catapult shots are definitely gonna help here. <laughs> oh man, he needs to just stay alive long enough to get the vision so that he can actually, our catapults can kill the rookie party. Oh, he's gonna die very soon though. That should have been a pretty good hit, I'm thinking. Definitely should have been. Oh, 
And I'm gonna try to find them because there were archers at the top on from the reds that killed the blue guy, Gereros. So let's see if I can actually find them right now for the catapults. And we have defeated because time's up and unfortunately we didn't have enough points for anything useful. So yeah, that's that. And well, they played it better in the end. A bit disappointing to be honest. But still some decent silver in there, not much experience. But silver isn't that bad. Even with the first unit we got some hits in there. Through the defense of the one unit, rather against the one unit. Spears! So we are having enough for the Banho Blitz, we're gonna buy them. Uh, but we still need plenty of experience for the Ban Cavalry with you. And we cannot really get that from the Ban Hoplitz, right? Levy Pikeman, Athenian Hoplitz. Yes, we need to continue playing. Spears! And with those Hoplitz so that we get plenty of experience. Spears! Plenty of experience. 1500 for the Ban Cavalry. Yeah, well. Yeah, well, well. 